Hey guys, thank you for coming. Okay, so I really wanted to make this video and share my story on how I went from exclusively pumping and her being bottle fed to uh, back to breast. So I did get her to latch when she was about two months old and now she's a year old just so you're aware of where we're at and we've been breastfeeding and everything's been going great ever since. But those beginning times were, they were really hard for me. Exclusively pumping is hard and for those who do it for multiple months and even years, like I applaud you. I give you so much credit. It's the hardest thing I've ever done and I've only, I only had to do it for two months. So for those of you who are doing it that way, like seriously, I applaud you. That is awesome. Um, a little bit of background. So I didn't get to breastfeed my son, but with her, I was determined I had to. I really, really wanted to breastfeed. So for those days that she was away from me and I was just visiting her in the nursery because of all that stuff that was going on, I was very sad and I was uh, really, really looking forward to the moment that they told me I would have the opportunity to talk to the lactation consultant and get a chance to try breastfeeding. So whenever they told me that um, it was time, okay, now you can try to breastfeed, I was like so, so excited and I couldn't wait. Um, I've been doing all I could to learn about it prior to giving birth, so, so I was really excited to try it. Basically, um, just getting her to latch when I was so engorged and everything, it was a struggle for me. I had a really hard time and what I did was I pumped a lot while I was there because I at least wanted to get things going and get back up breast milk. I knew that was important. So I was pump pumping during this time and I was pumping enough for quite a bit of backup storage. So I was happy about that despite not being able to latch in the hospital. Um, I figured at least I could give her breast milk. You know, that was a little bit more encouraging. Uh, even though it's not necessarily the way I wanted it to be, at least she was getting breast milk. So after lots of trying and getting lessons from lactation consultants at the hospital, I left there still not being able to latch. I still didn't figure it out and I was just happy to at least have a bunch of bottles of breast milk that I could bring home and give those to her. So I did leave there kind of knowing that, okay, I think I'm going to be one of those people who exclusively pump. And I was coming to terms with it and I just kind of became okay with the whole idea. You know, like I said, at least she's getting breast milk. If this is how it has to be, then this is how it has to be. And while I was trying, I did, it seemed like, it just seemed like her mouth was kind of like too small. I always had a little bit of hope that even though this is how it's going to be for now, that maybe her mouth was a little too small right at this moment. And maybe eventually, someday, I don't know when, but I will get her to latch and we can just breastfeed as normal. But we made sure to have everything we needed to pump. We had manual, we had a manual pump, we had different kinds of electric pumps, we got bottles, freezer bags, all that stuff. They had all the supplies we needed for me to just keep pumping. And it always seemed like I always just had that I always had just enough milk in the fridge to feed her for for that day or for like the next 12 hours. I never had more than that and I always watched videos on YouTube of girls who had such an oversupply that their freezers were full and that was never the case for me. I always had like, like the most I've ever had at a time were like 10 feedings, so like 10 bottles. And I know that maybe that sounds like a lot to some people, that might sound like not a lot to some people but I was just always a little bit worried because she would go through different phases where sometimes she was drinking more and sometimes less. And man, exclusively pumping is so hard. Like you have to pump in the middle of the night. You just have to, just to make sure you get like a steady amount for, you just always have to keep replenishing your stock of breast milk. So I was pumping in the middle of the night and that was hard on both me and Tim because he would have to wake up and go to work the next day and there would be times where like I have to have him feed her so that way I can pump and just, it's just
just a really hard thing to do, but it can be done. People do it all the time. Uh, and, you know, it just got to a point where I just thought this is going to be my life. This is just what I'm going to do for her entire breastfeeding career. But at the same time, I did always have that glimmer of hope that I am going to be able to get her to latch eventually. So this is when I'll tell you exactly what I did to get her to latch. And she was born May 5th, and the day I got her to latch and we started breastfeeding was June 27th. And once I got her latching, I didn't look back. I used the pump a little bit more after that, but basically I was done with it and I just, because I'm with her all the time, so I can always just breastfeed. It's a very rare occasion where I have to pump for like leaving to go do something and someone else has to watch, or Tim has to watch her for a little while. But now she's at the age where like she can have a different, like she can have almond milk or something, so. All right, and to tell you the trick of how I actually got her to latch for the first time. All right, so she was drinking out of bottles like this. These were her bottles, and I can't find the little ring, but basically this is what the nipple looks like. Okay, just these little tiny things, because she was a tiny baby. And so I knew that she's she's used to drinking out of this just fine, so if she can drink from that, then why can't she drink from a booby? What's the difference? But, all right, so here's what I did. I knew that I had to get my nipple, or get my booby to look like a bottle, or feel like a bottle. And when you pump, if you know this, your nipple is stretchy, it kind of stretches out. That's why they make nipples look like this. And so, I knew in order to get it to stretch out for her to latch on better, I would have to get a manual pump and just pump for a little bit to get it like going in the right direction, you know? So that's what I did. I had a pump handy, but then I also had a bottle filled with milk nearby. So I pumped for a little bit, and then I grabbed my baby, and I'm trying to coordinate everything. And so she wasn't really quite like latching perfectly, and I needed her to know that this is where food comes from. This is your milk. So I took a full bottle, you know, like that one, but this is all I have. <clears throat> and if you squeeze the side, if you touch right here and you push down, like a stream of water comes out, or a stream of milk comes out. So I had the baby here and I was pushing down to like squeeze, to squeeze out the liquid and I was trying to aim it in the side of her mouth as she was trying to latch on just to get a bunch of milk in there so she could realize like, hey, this can be easy too. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm turning the booby into a bottle because she's used to bottle and she needs to realize like, hey, this has milk too. So that's how I did it. And like, it, I had to try a lot. It took a lot of perseverance to do this whole technique, but I swear it worked. So when it finally worked, I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, hallelujah. I didn't want to move. I was uncomfortable, but I didn't care because I was just so happy that she was finally latched and like sucking and swallowing and I could see all that happening. And it just made my day and I didn't want to stop ever, but she is a very fast breastfeeder, so it didn't last for too long. But ever since that moment that I actually tried to do that at two months old, she got it. And since that day, I haven't had much of a struggle since. And I'm sitting here making it sound like all that was really easy, but it really wasn't. I, it did take a couple of tries and it kind of took a long time and a lot of coordination for me to like sit there and do all that. but. But I did finally get it to work, and like I said, I was really happy. And for that whole entire following week, every time I got her to latch and breastfeed, I was just like, I was sitting there like this, and every time I saw Tim, I was like, look, look, she's doing it, she's doing it. So, yeah, um, I think I was just, it's not going to be that easy for everyone. I was really, really determined to make it work, and I know everybody has their own uh, their own issues. It might not work like that for everyone, but that's just the little trick that I did. Just turn your booby into a bottle. <laughs> you know? I don't know. So I guess that's it. I'll wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.